Don't you hate it when you sign up to be a prostitute and your first client is your dad? What? I'm not making this up. That's actually what happens in this movie. From 1996, this is the ultimate lie. I'm Jay Harang and I've wasted hours of my life watching terrible films. You should subscribe. Meet the McGrath family. Hi. The dad, Malcolm, is the dean of a prestigious law school. The mum, Joan, used to be a lawyer, but she stopped work to look after the kids, Ben and Claire. Ben is going to law school and his parents are really proud of him. In fact, he's obsessed with law, but more on that later. Claire, on the other hand, has dropped out of college and lives in her parents' guest house. She's one of these spoiled rebel against my rich parents types. And oh, does she rebel. <laughs> This morning, Malcolm is making a speech about law at the university. Ben is in the audience and it's safe to say he's enjoying the speech. If you're wondering what sort of person would act like this, I went to law school and there were actually people like that. Hero worshipping lecturers as if they were rock stars, when in fact they were just c**ts. Anyway, this is Malcolm's friend and colleague Richard. Oh, really? my. Excuse me? You remember the old days, Mel? You remember flirting with students? What? What's happened to our profession? He's a creep. Yeah, professors can't openly perv on their students. What's happened to their profession? Anyway, this conversation has Malcolm thinking about the good old days, so he calls this woman Eileen. This is uh, Harold Beck. How are you, Mr. Beck? That's right, Eileen runs a network of cool girls, and tonight Malcolm is on his way to a hotel to meet one. <laughs> And they bang. The next day, the Chancellor is coming round for dinner. Dinner, dinner, dinner. And while Malcolm and Ben are really excited about this, Claire can't be asked with it. Joan goes to the guest house and tells Claire to change into something that doesn't make her look like a prostitute. And Claire's like, whatever, Mum, this is what I'm wearing. When the Chancellor gets there, along with some other guests, the conversation is tedious. All they talk about is law or law school. So Claire starts drinking and flirting with this really old man. After dinner, Joan tells Claire that she needs to do something productive with her life, as it's been three months since she dropped out of college. But then Claire's friend Donna turns up and she's like, come on, Claire, we need to go. Claire, it's nearly midnight. That's when the band starts warming up. Is it? I don't think so. Later. Beautiful party, Johnny. You must be exhausted. I'm not that exhausted. And then they bang. Ew. The next day, Malcolm is going to be on TV after work. He tells Joan that he'll probably go out for a drink afterwards, so he won't be home till very late. But we know what he's really up to. And then they bang. No, of course they don't. Good. Claire leaves without saying anything, but Malcolm's paid for the room, so he's just going to have to knock one out. Yes. So now Claire knows that her dad's been at the hookers, and Malcolm knows that his daughter's a prostitute. Claire just walks away, and when Eileen calls to ask her how it went with Harold Beck, she's like, yeah, let's just say it didn't work out. Eileen's like, really? Loads of other girls say he's an easy date. So there goes any chance of Malcolm using the it was just once excuse. Needless to say, family breakfast the next morning is a bit awkward. It is. <laughs> You can sit with your family. We don't bite. Well, Dad does when he pays extra. Then Claire goes back to the guest house. Mom? Yeah? Nothing. <laughs> I don't suppose it's the right time, is it, Claire? No, it's not. Back at the law school, Richard comes into Malcolm's office and tells him the Chancellor's about to retire and that Malcolm is the favourite to get his job. Later at home, he bumps into Claire and asks her why she decided to be a prostitute. Why? You go first, Dad. Why? Yeah, he should have really seen that one coming. They've got friends coming round later, and again, the conversation is tedious. Until this woman starts telling a story about a woman she knows who came home and walked in on her husband conkers deep in a grad student on top of the washing machine. That is an incredible story. Then Claire, who's drunk again, starts telling a joke. So the hooker goes, knock, knock. Claire. And the guy goes... Who's there? Nobody wants to hear your jokes. So Claire goes to bed. Malcolm follows her. What? No, not to bed. Good. And he's like, do you have any idea how upset your mother would be if she found out about this? But the next day... He's cheating on you, Mom. How dare you? What? Yeah, Joan doesn't want to hear these lies, so she kicks Claire out of the house. It's okay, though. Claire's going to move in with her hooker friend Donna and her boyfriend Chuck. When Malcolm gets home, Joan's like, Claire's been making up lies, so I kicked her out of the house. What kind of lies? 
Malcolm, I know they were lies. Why repeat them? Well, you're right. Really? Yeah, why repeat them? The next day, Ben finds out that Claire's moving out and he's like, Claire, why do you have to be so difficult? And she's like, piss off, Ben. It's not my fault this time. Then Malcolm goes in and tries to buy her silence. I don't want your money. Yeah, Claire can't just be bought. Bullshit. Well, not this time anyway. Before she leaves, Claire asks her mum how she thinks it is that she knows her dad's been cheating. It's because I'm a prostitute. Now I'll give you three guesses how daddy found out about that. I'd have probably explained at this point that nothing had happened, but I take it that's assumed. Anyway, when Claire goes to the prostitute office, she sees some girl and she's like, I heard you went on a date with Harold Beck the other night. He's pretty good, isn't he? <laughs> Back at home. Is there something you want to tell me? What did she say? She said she was a prostitute and that you found out. How did you find out? Uh, what, did you bump into her in some motel or something? Uh, oh my God. Yeah, so the secret's out. Let's at least hope they can keep it in the family. What? No, not like that. I meant the secret. Oh. Over at Donna's house where this woman's dancing like this, Chuck tells Claire that she doesn't need Eileen anymore because he's going to train to be a pimp. Oh, I see. She doesn't take this seriously, but when her dad calls Eileen and threatens to report her if she doesn't stop using Claire, she has no choice but to work for Chuck. That night, Ben comes over and he's livid. He's like some guy in the locker room was telling me that he hired a prostitute the other night, and guess who it was? The Dean's daughter. It's true. Quit screwing around, he said you're a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's like, this is disgusting. Does dad know about this? Yep. And she's like, yeah, and tells him how he found out. So he leaves. Things are looking good for Malcolm, though, as the chancellor announces his retirement, and he's got an interview to replace him next week. But while he and his friends are celebrating, Ben walks in. I want to talk to you in a minute, Ben. I think we should talk now. Ooh. So Malcolm takes Ben outside. Ben's like, how long have you been cheating on mum with prostitutes, dad? And Malcolm's like, this isn't the place to have this conversation. This is the place we search for the truth. Remember? Ben's like, since I've been at law school, dad, I've learned some new words. Honor, integrity, valor. All those big words. Yeah. Ben's so disappointed that his dad would cheat on his mum that he plans to quit law school. Why? Because what's the point in anything anymore? But then he immediately changes his mind and doesn't quit. Okay. Joan, for some reason, has decided to stay with Malcolm. But she's not been herself recently. So Malcolm tells Ben that he plans to throw her a surprise party. It might be just the thing to snap her out of this. Yeah, Joan really needs to snap out of this. Ben agrees to come and Malcolm tells him to invite Claire too. I'll see what I can do. He asks her and she agrees to go. But the next day at work, Richard tells Malcolm that rumours are going round about Claire. Uh-oh. Malcolm doesn't want to be embarrassed in front of his colleagues, so he tells Claire not to bother showing up. And she cries. It's okay, though, because Chuck has set up a date for her with this guy. The date is him rushing Claire to a seedy motel and trying to film her. When she objects, he starts knocking her about. At the party, Joan, who doesn't know Malcolm's told Claire not to come, is wondering why she hasn't arrived yet. Even though this is supposed to be a party for Joan, all Malcolm's boring colleagues are there talking about law, and it's clear that Malcolm is using this party as a way to further his own career. But then Claire turns up in a police car. Malcolm's like, oh shit, this is gonna look good. He doesn't even ask what's happened. And while Joan and Ben are seeing if Claire's okay. Joan, there are people here. Oops. Joan finally snaps and she's like, right, everyone out. There's some family stuff going on. And the guests are livid that their evening's been ruined. Especially this guy who's acting like he's just found out that Malcolm's been shagging his mum. Sorry, because this is Malcolm we're talking about. I should clarify that he hasn't. Thank you, I appreciate that. But when the guests leave, Malcolm goes up to Claire and he's like, you've ruined my, I mean your mum's party. You're out of this family. But Joan hears this and she's like, no, Malcolm, you're out of this family. At last. At an unspecified time, later we see Malcolm hanging around at work begging Ben to speak to him. He didn't get the Chancellor's job and Joan hasn't taken him back. So Malcolm lives alone in an apartment. He's like, Ben, come over for dinner sometime. But Ben's like, no thanks. Claire has moved back in with her mum and is no longer a prostitute and everyone's really happy without Malcolm. And that's the end of the film. So until next time. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and please consider joining my Patreon. There's a link in the description. Thank you.